Hey there. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw Po from Kung Fu Panda. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the center of the face, in between the eyes. And he's got this frown line that comes down and swoops around the top of the right eye. Okay. And from here, I'm just going to go in towards the middle here, and I'm going to draw the top of one of the eyes as a curve. And I'll go in the bottom here, and I'll draw a curve leading upwards. And inside this eye, I'm going to draw the pupil. So I'll draw a little circle on the top side of that eye. And I'm going to color that in, but I'm going to leave a little white spot on the top right side. And from here, now I'm going to swing this line around because he's got these big black sort of areas around the eye. And from here, I'm going to pretend this line goes back underneath that frown line and draw a circle or an oval where the nose would be. I'm just going to leave, that, uh, leave this side open and then I'll draw a little hook like that with a smile. And from here, I'll go to the middle, and I'm going to draw a curve that goes up to the top of the nose. Then from here, from this point, I'm going to come down to the middle, come back up, and I'll just finish this side off with a straight line. And from here, I'm just going to color that nose right in. Alright. And from here, I'm going to draw the bottom of the mouth. So let's draw a little line with a curve on it, on this side. I'm going to leave a gap open, and I'll draw the bottom of his chin just like that, with an upward swoop. Now let's go to this side on the left. Now that I have this eye here, the middle of the nose, I'll know sort of roughly that the other eye will be right about here. So I'm going to draw the top curve of his eye. And it's going to be a lot wider because he's sort of got a frown here and then his eyes kind of wide open on this side. So I'll draw the bottom part of the eye. And then I'm going to draw a circle for the pupil around the same size as this one here. Now color it in, again, leaving the top right side with a little highlight. And then around this eye, I'm just going to draw a curve that leads all the way around, almost like a circle. Okay, this will be colored in black, this will be colored in black as well. And above this eye, I'm just going to draw a little wrinkle in the top of the, uh, top of the brow there. Now, he's got a pretty round head, so it's kind of oval like this, but the top he's got a couple tufts of hair. so. I'll start on the top here, and I'm going to work my way around, trying to draw a nice even oval. So I'm going to go back to the top here, I'll draw a couple tufts of hair, and I'm going to draw this oval. Okay. I'm going to try to make it match up the bottom, just like that. That's not bad. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to draw some ears. So let's go above this eyebrow, and we'll draw a curve like that. A little detailed line inside. Go to this side and we'll do the exact same thing facing the other way. Then from here, I mean, he's got a big belly that comes around, kind of like a peanut shaped body. But this side, I'm going to put his arm leading up. So he's got sort of like a, a hand pose like this, and then the other hand tucked in behind the body. So let's go on this side first. So here, I'm just going to start about halfway up on the oval, come down, and I'll stop right there, and I'll change positions. And I'll kind of come around this body like this. I stop right about here because this is where the hand's going to be. So I'll draw the hand in first and I'll finish that line off later. Let's go and say, okay, well, here's the hand here. Let's draw on a thumb. Comes out like this. I'm going to do a series of overlaps. So we'll do finger, finger, and then this finger here is basically bent. So I'll do a little hook just like that. And from here, I'll draw a couple little finger pads and some little circles at the tips of these three fingers. This one can be left alone. And I'll draw sort of a big pad in the palm of the hand. Then from here, I'm going to draw a curve like that, leading towards the elbow. So now I can finish off this line and tuck that in behind. And then this arm sort of swoops in under. So it's a big forearm that kind of goes like that. All right, now let's go to this side here. And I'm going to finish off the front belly part. So he's got a big round belly kind of comes like this, so come around in and come back out. Now I'm kind of spacing it out as I'm looking at the image. His head and body, so his body is about one and a half times bigger than the head. So I'll come around like so and tuck that on underneath that arm and you can sort of imagine that continuing on up here. Let's draw the belt. There's a big swoop like this that kind of comes up. And he's got a bunch of little hash lines inside. So I'm just going to space these out evenly as I go along. 
and then he's got a dubby detail here, so it's a black and white detail, so it kind of comes up and gets tucked in behind that arm. Let's go to this hand. So this hand is sort of in a clench, like so. So let's draw on one finger. So I'll draw an oval like this. And I'm going to do a series of overlaps. So here's the second finger, third finger, and I'll draw a thumb. It's basically a nub like that. And then the forearm kind of gets tucked in behind the body like that. Now, the legs are quite simple. So it might seem hard, but it's actually quite simple. It's starting up here by the belt. I'm going to come around and curve up just like that. So it's sort of like a moon shape. And then from here, I'm going to curve up and back in. So this is the leg being stretched out. I'm going to go back up here. I'll draw a curve for the butt. And then I'll curve it in towards the ankle just like that. So there's his legs. That's actually quite simple. And then we'll just need some pant detail. So I'll just do a curve like so. And here I'm going to do an opposite curve, but I'm going to do a little notch like that. He's got a little tear in his pants. Then for the foot, we're just going to finish this off with a curve like this. And at the top of the foot, actually I'm going to extend this out a little bit. Now I'm going to do a reverse curve this way. And then in the middle here, I'm just going to draw a curve to split the toes. I'm going to draw one toenail and two toenails. And then up his leg, he's got sort of like straps. So I'll do like three lines showing some ropes. Over here, I'm going to do sort of the same thing. So his foot is kind of bent, so it comes straight down and curved up in the bottom. And this gets tucked in underneath that knee. And then I'm going to split that in two, just like I did over here, and then draw two ovals for the toenails. And then I'm going to draw a couple of lines like this for the straps. And there we have it. So I'm going to go in a bit later and color these areas in black. And there he is. There's Poe from Kung Fu Panda. That actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. But if you like this, please give me a like and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you again soon.